last decade. The Osceola County Historic Courthouse is one of Kissimmee's most interesting buildings, and it holds a dis the distinction as Florida's oldest courthouse still in use today. Being a place of justice, countless criminals have passed through these doors since it opened more than 125 years ago. But there are none more notorious than the Ashley Gang. In the 1920s, they were wreaking havoc on the city, robbing banks, escaping shootouts, hijacking cars, and run running, until they finally were gunned down by the sheriff and his men at Felsmere Bridge, east of St. Cloud. Just one member of the gang managed to survive, Mr. Joe Tracy. He escaped the shootout, but was ratted out by a fellow criminal who implicated him in the murder of a local taxi cab driver. Tracy was jailed and learned that there was only one witness to this murder, a single middle-aged woman named Laura Up the Grove. Tracy set his sights on her quickly and very craftily charmed her from his jail cell. In no time, Tracy had convinced the lonely woman that she was in, that he was in love with her and couldn't possibly live without her. And on April 17, 1925, Judge J.W. Oliver performed their marriage ceremony through the cell bars. The lonely Laura up the grove believed that her life had changed for the better, but one year later, the new Mrs. Tracy would be dead. According to the police report, she committed suicide by poisoning, but there are plenty of people who firmly believe that Laura met her, her end at the hands of her ne'er-do-well husband who no longer needed her around. After all, she didn't confess to witnessing the murder and she he was released from jail. Shortly after her death, those who worked in the courthouse began complaining of a cold draft. Some cleaning crew members refused to work in the courthouse after seeing a woman pass by the windows with a lit candle which wouldn't have been so strange except that it was on the third floor. The spirit of Laura up the Grove haunts the courthouse not because she died here, but because of her guilt in letting a guilty man go free from this place. Perhaps she remains here as penance for allowing herself to be fooled by such a cruel man.